What up, Keyforge? I'm Zoc, and we are here for, I believe, the last week of the Keyforge Team League. We will be playing Adaptive Best of Three versus Akagi Legend. Not tonight. Um, so it's going to be fun. What's up, Ketzer? I've been getting wrecked in this league. Yeah, there's... This league is full of sharks. <laughs> I've been doing I've been doing all right. I think I'm three and one. I would like to win just to keep my record up. And maybe we have an outside shot to get uh, up to like third place in our group, maybe. But we're we're just here to have some fun. What's up, Amber Medes? How you doing? I think so. Let's uh, hop over. So we're going to be playing Adaptive. Uh, I will be playing... Oh, we haven't updated this at all. What are we doing here? Hey, what's up, Gorlami? Congratulations Hello. on your Alliance Store Championship victory yesterday. Wish I could have been there for that one as well. It was awesome. Awesome seeing you last week. Okay, so I am going to be bringing my Grim Reminders name deck, Burger Zock, which is, uh, has some good fun stuff in it. Um, and I think, not tonight, it's bring Rector, but I forget. Um, so one thing we'll have to be worried about with Rector. Rector can key cheat. It can it can kind of rush to victory, and mine is actually fairly slow, and it kind of wants to play the long game. So it might not be set up for early victories in every game. I don't know. It's hard to hard to say here. Yeah. Thank you. All right, but it looks like we're ready to get going. Let's jump in. Burgerzak. And... Is it Rector? I think it is. Yes, it is. So Rector is, let's see, I think we're going to mulligan that at a choo choo choo, not that exciting, not the stuff we want to see early. Rector is an infamous AOA deck. It's got Drummernock Ganger Chieftain, it's got Time Traveler, and the ZYX Suite with Project Director and the Researcher. Double Wild Wormhole. Um, it's got Key Charge, Nature's Call. It's got a Dusk Witch, Nepenseed, Double Regrowth, a Telega. So there's a lot of really awesome starting turn cards here with either Telega or, or Dusk Witch or Director ZYX. Um, or getting some of the artifacts going. It's got Gauntlet of Command, Memory Chip, Nepen Seed. So, and of course, she starts with Dusk Witch. Let's see. I have Reclaimed by Nature. Okay. Do we have a way to kill it? We do in Plague Wind. We probably want to do that. Uh, we'll just get rid of that and play some cards. All right, and now we got... Whoa, that is not right. Okay. <laughs> we got three Geistoid and three Untamed. We also played our Don't Believe Your Eyes. Uh, we can get it back with some stuff. Look what I found and some other things, but... Okay, they go Brobnar, sound the horns into Foozle. 
Bilgum Avalanche and Foozle come down. We're lucky they didn't have a quick um, gang or not because we would have had no answer. Flame Mike Shaman comes down and damages itself. I think we'll go Guy's Toid here. The Plow Sword has always been pretty clutch. Um, unfortunately, we didn't get. We didn't draw into Guy's Toid there. Play some cards. We're kind of not having the best draw here early. We do have a deep probe coming up. Um, they go logos. Wild wormhole and the cutthroat research. Time Traveler comes down. Checking out the cards they drew. ZYX Researcher to archive... Uh, Oh, well, they haven't decided yet. The top of their deck. Okay, and that's that. Um, let's see. I need to look at all their recursion again. I have the Pensy, Double Regrowth, Help from Future Self, and a Nature's Call. Okay. Um... Be really nice to get some more creatures here on the board. I think we need to get Geistoid here. Gonna go Geistoid. We'll get a taunt out. We're gonna taunt our Dark Lamp. And do we capture on the Thought Catcher and then fight with it to draw, or do we? Do it on Tribute Collector so that it just is very hard for them to um, fight into it. Drawing one, we're unlikely to draw a Geistoid. So let's put it on that. We'll fight the Foozle here. Uh, let's see, what creature control do they have? Coward's in, Nature's Call, Tremor, Ganger, Persistent Hunting, Bilgum Avalanche. Okay. Um, we should, should use Plow Sword first. We're going to put Dusk Witch on the bottom of their deck and take out either Researcher or Time Traveler. I think we'll take out Time Traveler. I mean, they can get with help from Future Self anyway. Dark Lamp could take out Researcher here. But I think we'll just Reap. We actually did draw into another Geistoid. Or, so maybe we should have captured there, but... Oh well. Okay, they go right back into Logos. Cut the research. Reap. There's their help from Future Self. Time Traveler again. They're at check.
Getting a little bit uh, hamstrung here with Geistoid. Project ZYX also comes out, which is a problem. Um, I think we go Geistoid again here. We'll put out Varad. Uh, we'll fight with Tribute Collector into Time Traveler. And capture onto Varad. Um, then capture on the Varad again. And then we'll... Uh, Reap here and use this to put, I guess, thought capture and get the researcher here. Yeah, okay. Oh man, we drew another Geistoid. Empathic Malice, huh? Hmm. Interesting. This is not exactly how it's going. Help on future self too perfect of a counter to Grim Reminders. Put it on the restricted list. Slow. <laughs> exactly. Exactly. They're going on tame. They discard the key charge. Um, I think that's the only key cheat they have. But they have an appendice, so. Rustnar comes down. Regrowth for the Time Traveler and a Dusk Witch. Oh, the Help from Future Self reshuffled. I was like, I put that on the bottom of the deck. But nope, it's back. Hmm, the Rustnar here can take out my Plow Sword. I kind of don't want that. Well, we'll go Geistoid again here. <laughs> that way we can take out the project too, which I think is actually clutch. We're going to do Empathic Malice here. We're going to discard um, the look what I found, I guess. Maybe the Dr. X. Let's go discard the Dr. X here, actually. Uh, we'll capture on the Vrad. Vrad's going to take out Project. Um, we use Plow Sword to put Project on the bottom and take out Dusk Witch. Tribute Collector will take out Rusnar. Capture on to Varad again. And Dark Lamp will reap. Hmm. I don't know. I don't know what I'm doing here. <laughs> we finally didn't draw more Geistoid though, so now's the time to go untamed, maybe? Once I have the cowards in, that'll take out Dark Lamp, unfortunately. There's Time Traveler again. Director comes out, and that's it. Okay. So now it's time to go Untamed. Uh, I think we have to... Hmm, they have a lot of good... We might have to hold on to our Reclaimed. Let's, uh, let's go Mars here. We'll do Feeding Place, and we'll Deep Probe them for Barabdar. They do have the cowards in. We got a Foozle, and that's it. They also have a Tremor and a Coward's in, a Regrowth, Darna, and Nox. That's pretty good. 
That's pretty good. They can take out most of my board. Uh, all but the variety. Well, they could take out all but the Varad if they use the Cowards in. But they probably don't want to take out their Director, right? Okay, they go Untamed. They get some Darna value. They get Tremor or uh, Nox on the board. And they can regrow something. They can regrow the Dusk Witch. They regrow the Rusnar. Okay. Interesting. Um, that's actually a problem here. But I can get the director with choking ivy, so we have to go untamed here. We gotta get rid of some stuff. Choking ivy will take out the time traveler, Darna, and director. Um, we'll tuck Haunting Witch back here, hit the Rusnar, we'll put Bog Spitter here. We might hold on to the Reclaimed. Do we put the Cauldron out? As just, yeah, let's put the Cauldron out. There's another one. See if they go for the Plow Sword or the Cauldron. They're both actually really good value. And then do I look what I found? I can get Dr. X back and an action. Plague Wind is not good here. Don't believe your eyes though, it's pretty good. Except we're not haunted yet. But we will be soon. So look what I found, we'll get back. Don't believe your eyes and Dr. X. Okay. Uh, we got Boiler. That's actually pertinent here. Let's see. We have nine Ember on our creatures, which isn't great. Rusnar can fight here, Nox can fight here. Rusnar can eat an artifact. We'll have to see what they do. They, we also know they have Tremor and Coward's End. I just made it so the Rusnar will survive the Coward's End, unfortunately. The reason I want to damage it though is because of the Bog Spitter, because then I could get with Bog Spitter. Might come back to bite me. Well, they do go untamed though. Hmm, I wonder if I should have brought back Deep Probe. Okay, yep, Rusnar fights the Varad. And what do they eat? The Cauldron, the Plow Sword, or the Feeding Pit? Tough choices. In Ganger, they could. Oh, they get the feeding pit. Okay. In uh, Brobnar, they can also. Okay, they take Varad to get to check at 10, and then the Telega comes down. Okay. don't actually have a way to get to Haunted in Mars here. 
I think I need to go Geistoid. I'm going to get two damage on everything from the Bilgum Avalanche. Got to remember that. Let's plow sword first. Uh, we'll put Nox back at the bottom of their deck and take out. Rusnar. Tribute Collector will take out Telega and capture onto Bog Spitter. We'll reap here. We'll put out our boiler here and we'll Hollow Deep Festival to get the check. We'll capture two Ember. We discarded our Nepenthe Seed um, and some other stuff, but that's all right. We'll capture in a lot of places, even though, and then we will use our cauldron here. We'll put replay pod under our cauldron, and we will get to check. Let's see. Rustnars are only artifact control. Okay. So now we're haunted, so now we get some don't believe your eyes value. Now they'll get to check. They will... I actually do two damage across the board here, so everything except my boiler will then be Coward's End Proof, which is kind of funny. But they still have the Tremor. Let's see, what other ping damage do they have? They have the uh, Lava Ball and the Nature's Call. Those will be really relevant. You know, I played my uh, last turn out of order. I could have got an extra ember by playing Holiday Festival first, so I'd, I was uh, haunted and then playing Boiler. So that was a mistake. That was definitely a misplay. Getting the seven ember I think would be good. They have Cutthroat Research, but uh, they also have Grok, so they could Ganger Grok into me and make me lose an ember. So that was definitely a misplay. Library cut the wild wormhole into sound the horns, which takes drummer knot into their hand. They discard gauntlet. Nature's call memory chip. Another cut the research persistence hunting. Lab work grovekeeper lava ball. They discarded all their creature control except they now have ganger knot in hand. Okay, so I get a key. They have a big advantage here though, so. We're going to get Ganger knotted. Okay. So let's don't believe your eyes here. Um the Dr. X is already elusive, so we don't need to put another on it. We'll capture onto Boiler again. 
have them capture two from themselves. We'll put Dr. X here. Target is going to come capture onto itself so that's elusive and then it's going to damage Dr. X to protect it from Coward's End. We'll get an Ember from Haunting Witch and then we will... Okay, so we can recur the Deep Probe to threaten the Brobnar, but I think they're going Brobnar no matter what. They have Tremor, they have a bunch of good stuff. So I think we're going to bling back Don't Believe Your Eyes, because we can keep making them pay with that. And then we'll use Cauldron to put Blurnia Hydra under it. Oh, we finally got Island of Misfit Toys. So that's pretty good. Let's see what they decide to kill and stun with their big Brobnar turn. They should have a pretty... They can rule a six Gengar not, unless Gengar Chieftain's in their last two. If so, then I probably should have brought back Deep Probe, but I'm guessing they have it. They do go Brobnar. They take their archive. Here's a big turn coming up. Flamewake fights Dr. X. Bilgum fights Dr. X. Okay. They're probably trying to sequence all their stuff. Having Boiler here is pretty good because... Oh, there is a Coward's Gen. Okay, that's smart. So Boiler takes out Flame Wake Shaman and Bilgum Avalanche. I think that's pretty smart, though. Because if they didn't do that, I could have used it to fight into the Drummer Knot to kill two creatures. Here comes a Grok. The Ganger the Grok to make me lose one. They fight in the Tribute Collector. Okay. And here comes their Drummer Knots. So they'll take out the Tribute Collector. Then they can only take out one more creature, although they probably, ha they might have the other Drummer Knot. They stun everything. Ganger comes down again. They fight into Dark Lamp. And then they use the Grok to fight in the Dark Lamp. Do they have the other Drummer Knots? They do, of course. We're in a little bit of a hurt here. We're one turn away from having the Misfit Toys on... They take out the Hunting Witch, they get the check, they bounce the Ganger, and then do they take out one of their Drummer Knots? Or do they hold it? They could also take out the Grok. Ooh, I can get the Hydra on the board, that's pretty clutch. And with a Plow Sword, I could take out a Drummer Knot.
Okay, they do Gengar the last one. Okay. So we're a little bit behind here, but I think we can come back. We're, we gotta go Geistoid. We're gonna get our Island of Misfit toys out. We will Phantasmal visit the Drummer Knot. We will plow sword. Oh, they just cycled, huh? Plow sword the uh, bog spitter. Oh no. The brash grabber, a uh, target. We'll do the target and take out that, and then we'll do cauldron. The first play brain dart on the Gengar, then we'll play Blurnia Hydra and the Replay Pod. Okay, that's not bad. We have a Thought Catcher and two targets in our draw pile, and we have a whole bunch of Geistoid ready to come back with Island of Misfit toys. We got it late, but it's coming. They go Logos, Drawn Cards, This deck always tries to come back late. Now, what we have to worry about now is the key charge. It's back in the draw. We are so lucky that, at least for now, they don't have the Telega out. But if they like Wow Wormel and a Telega, we are screwed. Project ZYX comes out. They Wild Wormhole in the Darna. Whew. They do gain one with that. That's pretty nice. Gauntlet of Command also comes out. Okay, we got to get our big old Geistoids on the board. We will take our archive. We will Phantasmal visit this project. We will use Island of Misfit Toys. Uh, we'll use Cauldron and let's start capturing. Okay, so we first want to play our Dark Lamp. I think we'll draw into our Thought Catcher. Perfect. Then Tribute Collector will come out here. Then next we want our Thought Catcher. We want our Harvest Skimmer. Oh, we only have one more. One more we can capture, huh? Um, Where do we want it? Do we want it on our second Tribute Collector? Yeah, let's put it on our second Tribute Collector. And then we'll put out our Harvest Skimmer here, our Varad here, our Boiler here. I guess we'll s just hold on to Empathic Malice and Hollow Eve. We just discard a target. Although Holiday Eve gets us a check, so maybe we do want to do that. We can either plow sword the drummer knot. We gotta plow sword the drummer knot now because they have Gengar on on hand. Um, plow sword. We will put back Grok on the bottom of their pile to take out drummer knots, and then we will Hollowed Eve just to get to check even though we discard our target. Okay. Well, in turn, 
I probably shouldn't have used the cauldron before, but that's all right. So now we have our big old Geistoid line. Now we have to worry about Coward's End, I guess, but that's what it is. And also Nature's Call. They go untamed. Uh-oh, Nepenseed comes down. That's scary. Nox. Darna regrowth for drummer knot. Oof, ouch. Okay, so the real worry here is uh, key cheats. So I think we can just get to check here. Geistoid. We'll pull this. We will. Um, yeah, we just got to worry about key cheats. So we will stun that guy. We'll plow sword the Darna. We'll put Rash Grabber on the bottom. And I think we just reap out here. Oh, actually we could kill both the Gengar and the Nox. Reap. 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 Oh, reap. Um, are we worried about the Cutthroat here? We'll fight here to take out both of those. Um, we could capture one more too. I guess they can still Gengar Knot with the Pent Seed. I don't think we care. Oh, we went to 8 already anyway. Okay, so we'll go back up to 9 then. I don't think we need to capture their extra one. Oh, actually, maybe we do. We'll discard um, Halicor and capture on the Thought Catcher. And then we're, we are actually going to use Cauldron here. Well, we can do a neat trick with Cauldron this next turn, actually, if we have to. Okay, they go Logos. They can Cutthroat me. And then try and... The pen seed wild wormhole into a key cheat or something. Lab work. Ooh, help from future selves comes out. Okay, so. Let's see what they got. Let's see what they got. Oh, they didn't draw anything, I guess. Okay. On to rematch and swap decks. On to game two. This one's a brain burner. As are all the all the matches with this deck. <laughs> this is actually a really cool deck. A uh, really sweet deck for, for my name deck. Really happy with it. And uh, it's got so many decision points with all the recursion. It's nuts. Okay, they're picking who goes first. They'll probably pick themselves, yeah, because... The the Dusk Witch starter. Yeah, we're going to keep this. We have Nature's Call Dusk Witch, which is pretty sweet. And we have Help from Future Self, Wild Wormhole, Project ZYX. 
Those are all really good. Let's see what they start with here. <laughs> Not tonight, got done, got hamburgered. They go Geistoid and Plow Sword. Oh, that's really good. That's a great starter. Although there's nobody to to plow sword if I dusk rich right away. Hmm. I think we got to go logos here though. I think we do help from future self first before the wild wormhole. Um, wild wormhole. Now we wild wormhole gauntlet. Okay, that works. And we'll throw those out there. Now they can plow sword my director, but that's all right. Um, we got a pretty spicy untamed, or we can keep going. Logos here. We also have a Grok Drummer Knot. We also can regrowth like our Time Traveler if it dies. I don't know. There's a lot of options here on this next turn. I'm not even sure which is the best. All right, they're going Mars. Oh no, a deep probe. They get my drummer knot and my grope, but now they see that I have dusk witch. Uh, and luckily they have two drummer knots in the deck. Well, now they, they have Fuel now also for my plow sword, for their plow sword, unfortunately. Dr. X comes down, target comes down to archive, probably deep probe, yep. That's pretty good. Terrible teammates to discard. Look what I found. Okay. We'll go untamed here. Now we also have a regrowth in the archive. I don't think we'll use it here. Do we want to regrowth our drum or not? They can deep probe it again, but I think that's fine. We could regrowth both of them. It'd be kind of silly, but then they, they, for the plow sword, um, they'd have to discard a creature to get plow sword value. I think we hold on to one of the regrowths. And then the only question is, is do we regrowth or drum or not? I think we do. Play out the Darna, Nature's Call, bring back the Time Traveler, put back Dr. X into their hand, and Dusk Witch. Well now, we have Ganger Knot. Now they can go Deep Probe again. But pressure's on. I mean, they can also deep probe my time traveler because they know I brought that back. So they have a lot of decisions to make.
Uh oh, JT Russell has joined the game as spectator. Does uh, not tonight have a JT Russell buff? Hope not. Hope not. Maybe it's the opposite. All right, they go untamed. Uh, they do have a damage pip on Haunting Witch that they could use to kill Dusk Witch potentially. There it is. Haunting Witch comes down. Halicor comes down. All right, it is drummer nighting time. What do we get in our archives? Okay. Okay, so here's what we do. Uh, I was trying to do fancy ZYX shenanigans, and I can uh, I could regrowth a Grok. Yeah, I guess we do that. So, how much damage do we want on project? Um, take the Grok back. We'll put the Grok over here. We'll ganger the Grok into Haunting Witch. And then we Drummer Knot. Okay, we gotta actually count this. So we played one ganger, two, three, four, five. Actually, it doesn't matter. We can just keep it in hand, yeah. Okay, and that's six, yep. Yeah. And then we can say deep probe me. Deep probe my ganger, I guess. But they go Geistoid instead. Island of Misfit Toys comes out. That's always nice. Brad. Holiday Festival captures onto it. it. They discard Low Dawn, Reclaimed by Nature, Dark Lamp, Tribute Collector, and Replay Pod. Okay. Phantasmal vid is it stuns an archive or an uh, exhaust my drum or not? Thought catcher comes down.
Cloud Sword is going to kill the Groker Director. Director, yep, makes sense. And puts Dust Switch on the bottom. And Cauldron places Target under Cauldron. Okay, we just got to keep speeding. So I think we go Logos here. Uh, I think we Wild Wormhole first. What do we have? We could hit Cowards in. We could hit Lava Ball. We could hit Dusk Uh, No, it's on the bottom. Dusk Witch is on the bottom. Um, yeah, I think we Wild Wormhole first. We get a Depend Seed. That's pretty sweet. Then we Time Traveler. We didn't draw anything. Does Project fight the Thought Catcher here? I think we gotta kill the Thought Catcher. They can bring it back with Island. They're about to bring back a whole bunch of stuff. Hmm. We're just going to reap. They go Mars, take their archive. They probably have Don't Believe Your Eyes here. And Plague Wind would wipe my board almost, except for Drummernaut. They deep probe me. Uh, there goes my Brobnar. And now they know I have Telega as well. That's not great. Okay, we got to start thinking about how do we use our Nepenthe Seed here. Nature's Call for Captured Ember might be the right thing. It depends if I Plague Wind us here. Yep, yeah, there's a Plague Wind. That's too bad. Hmm, not sure what we're going to do here then. Brash Grabber with the damage takes out Drummer Knot, Feeding Pit, and Dr. X comes out. Okay, so in that case, we go untamed here. We depend seed the nature's call. We nature call the Varad, the Thought Catcher, and the Brash Grabber. We put out Telega when key charge. It is scary to leave the Dr. X, but I think one is okay. We key charge and we put out the Telega. And say play creatures. Although they could fight it with a Dr. X and then with a damage pip on the Brash Grabber take it, or they could just plow sword it. Which is what they'll probably do here. Because we know we just put.
two Geistoid in their hands. Yep, there it comes. Phantasmal Visit to stun and archive it. Then they'll plow sort it. What are they going to put back? Probably something of mine that doesn't of no value. They can also tribute collector and target this turn. That's really good. They return flame like shaman. Shaman to the bottom. Vorad comes out. So what's in my draw? So say I Coward's End here. Do I have any chance with what's left in my draw of winning this game? Because they can bring it all back with Island. I'm still a little ways away. We'll have to see. The Phantasmal Visit is going to keep killing me, though. Here comes the Cauldron. They get a Bog Spitter, the Tribute Collector. They do a damage with the target to the Varad. Okay. That's smart, because it'll survive then the Coward's in. Let's see, I know they have a bunch more Geistoid under there. What do they, they archive Haunting Witch, uh-oh. Oh yeah, they still have a bunch of untamed creatures. So Halicor, but they still have Lurnia. I guess Bog Spitter's out. So they only have Lurnia and Flumph. So Boiler comes out, Harvest Skimmer and Thought Catcher. Okay, this is fine. Robnar, Coward's in. Lava Ball, Flumph, or Fuzzle, I mean, Reap. We'll put out our Drummer Knot too. We'll hold on to the Tremor? We know it's all coming back this next turn, right? Rusnar, Grovekeeper, and Knox. Oh, hmm. I should have looked ahead and seen if I could have cowered. 
Uh, ZYX the Coward's in. That would have been good. Okay, they go untamed and take their archive. They can choking Ivy to kill the Foozle. Yep. The Pensy comes down. Cauldron place. Don't believe their eyes under Cauldron. Oh, good, good, good. Learning Hydra comes down. Don't they have Haunting Witch? They don't want to go up to eight, I see. You're worried about Cutthroat. Yeah, it makes sense. Uh, I wish I could make them draw, but I don't have a way to. So we got to go Brobnar here. Reap, fight, stun. Oh, now we got the sound of the horn. Sting. Okay, now their big island play happens. They can stun and exhaust Drummer Knot because they have Phantasmal Visit here. Here comes a capturing. There's Phantasmal Visit as expected. So I think they put Flame Wake Shaman on the bottom of my deck. So if I sound the horns here, I think I get to the bottom of my deck and I can gauntlet Flame White Shaman into one thing, although might be elusive. We'll have to see. Cloud Sword comes down to kill Drummer Knot. Okay. Uh, they're going to put something else on the bottom of my deck. What are they going to put there? Oh, they're going to return their Bog Spitter. Okay, and there's Island. Now is when it gets interesting.
We might even want to save our Sound the Horns for... After we cycle, it's a long ways away though. Like a harvest skimmer captures on the rod. Tribute co collector comes down and captures somewhere. Oh, I don't have any more ember. Oh, good, 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 good. And they have Empathic Malice and Don't Believe Your Eyes under Cauldron. I wonder if they're going to keep their hand at 6. So that they don't... Well, they still wouldn't be able to use Cauldron unless they put something else under the draw, which they could do with Plow Sword. I guess I could just not play Creatures? Hmm... Interesting. I'll have to see what they do here. Ooh, they're using the pen seed to bring back what? Terrible teammates, so that their hand is bigger? And then they play the Holiday Festival and Boiler. Oh, so they do redraw. Okay. That'll help them get to... Haunted faster if they go Mars. Okay, so I think we play out. So our two choices here is going Sound the Horns into Flame Wake. That would allow us to cycle faster. Or we can play all three of our untamed creatures. I think that's a better call. Then we might cycle into more better un uh, logo stuff. Let's see, so if we sound the horns, we'll definitely get the Flame Wake Shaman, and then we can gauntlet it. So we'd be able to kill one creature they could reap for six, get up to check at nine. But we'd only be drawing like one card. But yeah, let's go. We need to put a uh, Rusnar. Have them scared of Rusnar. We could have made Nox 9, but I don't think it matters because they can kill the other ones anyway. So getting the plus 1 on the Rusnar I think is better because they want that dead for sure. Well, we drew all of our logos, which is, I think, beneficial. Because then we'll be able to redraw this next turn. Okay, yep, they go Geistoid here. They take their archives. They still have Phantasmal Visits, so they can take out Rusnar that way. Yeah. So what we got to try and do is get situated for redrawing the key charge, if we're lucky. <laughs> uh, 
if we really thought ahead, we could have been a little bit smarter. Made him draw one extra, but we could have uh, ZYX the coward's end. That was our mistake. Okay, they plow sword the grove keeper. Oh no, they're putting Bilgum on the bottom of my deck. I don't want Bilgum there. That's pretty good though. Plow sword is so good. Thanks, Ketzer. Have a good one. Phantasmal visit stuns Rusnar. And exhausts it, as expected. Harvest Skimmer discards Dr. X to gain an extra Ember. They're already up to six. And they have one, two, three, four, five, six more creatures. So are they going to... They know I have Cutthroat by now, I'm sure. I think with our memory chip, we archive one of the cutthroats? Hmm. Or do we use ZYX on it? I think we got to use ZYX on the top of the deck. So I think with memory chip, we archive a cutthroat. With lab work, we archive a sound the horns. I mean, either way, it doesn't matter. Okay, they get up to seven. And then with ZYX, we archive the top. I mean, actually, the cutthroat only really matters on this turn, right? The only way that it would matter is a wild wormhole shenanigans the next turn. Boiler fights to take out both Nox and Rustar. Okay, yeah, they check at seven. Makes sense. So we go Logos here. Archives on the horns. So now Cutthroat doesn't really matter. So we might as well... Um, drawing with Library of Babel doesn't really matter either. Cutthroat, Cutthroat, ZYX, the deck, lab work for nothing. Uh, whoops. We could have Library and then lab work. That was a mistake. And we didn't get our key charge. We could have got one more draw, right? So they get up to check here. Um, and I think all we can do is kind of Hope for logo shenanigans. Which I don't think is going to happen. So I think it's going to be on the game three. Um, And it's going to be really hard to figure out how many chains to go for game th game three on this. Because uh, Rector is so explosive. Mine is kind of slow to come back, but once it does, it's pretty strong. Okay, they go Mars. 
They have three in discard. They brain dart. Brain dart's always good. The feeding dart discard bog spitter. Okay. I'm not sure where they're going, Mars here, actually. Just making sure they can't. Terrible teammates. Up to seven, they discard. Look what I found. Maybe they can. Uh, I don't think they can get to. I think they're setting up. Don't believe your eyes for next turn. Maybe. I'm not sure. Let's see, can they still get the check? I don't think so. But they did get me off a couple. Dr. X comes down, Brush Grabber comes down. Will they damage me? No, they'll damage Varad. That's actually quite interesting. Because now I could actually Let's see, they'll probably be able to use yeah, they'll be able to use Don't Believe Your Eyes this next turn. Is there any way that I can I could potentially prevent that? But can I kill everything and also prevent that? I don't think so. But let's go sound the horns. Oh, Gengar Chieftain. Hmm. So I think we we just get to check here. They can take us off probably, but Gonna have them draw some. Okay, we gotta think this through here. With Flame Wake, we could either kill like the Varad or the Doctor X. With two fights, we could kill the Dr. X. So first we're going to Gengar Bilgum into Dr. X, I think.
They can get me off in either Geistoid or Mars. Um, or they can get me off in Geistoid, yeah. So do we care about the Dr. X? Um, let's do some math here. They have the Dr. X there. One, two, three kind of verses. They'd have to, uh, yeah. Let's let's uh, let's get rid of some geistoid. Okay, we didn't draw anything that great here, uh, except for potentially the wild wormhole. Okay, they go Mars, because they can go Dr. X, Dr. X, Brash Grabber. They can do a lot of crazy stuff. They can also already use a Don't Believe Their Eyes to get me off easily. I'm surprised that's uh, the way they to go. They can also Deep Probe me, yeah. They hit me for logos and they didn't get anything, but now they see what they what I have. So they know my only out probably is a well wormhole. Feeding put to dis discard the Halicore. And then they get their don't believe your eyes value. And then they capture everything else with empathic malice. Hey, Board Game Addict UK. Thanks for the follow. How you all doing? Nice to see you. We're playing some Key Forge. We're playing Adaptive Best of Three. It's game two. I won the first one. They are about to win the second one. And then we will go bid chains for the third one. Okay, so they captured two on the ZYX for myself. Then with Empathic Malice, they're discarding Choking Ivy, capturing three more on Thought Catcher. And then we get into the Dr. X shenanigans, and they also still have five more in their hand. Oh, cool. Yeah, if you have any questions about Key Forge, let me know. Um, Right now we're playing through what's called TCO, The Crucible Online. It's at thecrucible.online. Uh, it's a website. And it's a good way to play online. Um, in this match, we have a Grim Reminders deck, which is up here on the top, and the Age of Ascension deck. So the, the set that was just released, set seven, up top, which is Grim Reminders, and uh, the second set, which is... Uh, Age of Ascension. Okay, so they reap with Dr. X, brought back the Dr. X. Reap with that, brought back Brash Grabber. Uh, reaped with that, played Plague Win to take out the ZYX Researcher and uh, I guess the Flumph. And then they played the target to archive the Don't Believe Your Eyes. They're at check at 12. We have to get super lucky. What we have to do here is... Um, what's my out here? Wild Worm hole into Coward's End, Library of Babel, into Wild Wormhole, into Key Charge. We'll lab work this, Wild Wormhole, 
drum or not. That's not going to do it. We did get a cutthroat. All right. Uh, fun times. On to game three. Figuring out where we're going to do the bidding. So this game was really close. Um, the last game was somewhat close as well. And because my deck really is a deck that wants to win at the end, chains is really effective if if rector can just rush okay we'll start a new adaptive best of one game ktl and bring this so let's see, how many chains is enough to slow down my deck so that Rector can go off? I mean, Rector could have won one of those games if everything came out just right. That's Key Forge. That's the fun. Um, so I don't think it's a ton of chains. I think it's somewhere probably between like three and six. Going to, I mean, even six, I think is too much. You can definitely win with that much. Like, go look at my game versus Quick Draw, where I got lucky on the draw. Uh, that was a good example of just kind of high rolling a little bit. Um. But for an average game, what would be... What would be a good bid? Okay, start this game. So we both bid on my deck. because that deck won the first two games. Okay, and because I won, I automatically start bidding on it with uh, zero chains. They bid two chains. Um, I will bid three. Mm, they bid four, huh? Now it gets interesting. Both of them honestly could high roll and win either way. A lot of it depends on when you get that island. Yeah, it depends on a lot more than that, because there's a lot in Rector also. I think we're going to pass on four chains. Yeah, 
you know, I, I could see it anywhere from like three to six. It's it's kind of all over the place. We just need to hope for kind of a, a big early start here. Um, Okay, yeah, so I'll pick to go first. Um, I think it would be good with this deck. Yeah, I think we'll keep that. We don't have a classic first turn starting hand, but we'll start with Project ZYX. We do have some really key cards here. Ganger, Coward's Inn. Ooh, Phantasmal Visit. Uh, at least I don't get to keep archiving that. We'll go Logos, Help from Future Self. Time Traveler. Uh, we didn't get anything here. Cutthroat, okay. Maybe it wasn't a good keep, I don't know. Um, not tonight would definitely be able to tell me better than me whether it was a good keep or not. If I have a deep probe here, that would be pretty painful. I do have the regrowth, though. Oh, they do. There goes my Brobnar. Uh, yeah. That's not a great start, uh, but we could regrowth it. And we can also shuffle time travel back in. Well, maybe we can't. They brain dart it. Uh, we're going to have a really, really bad turn this next turn. Don't believe your eyes goes down. I mean, they have targets, you know, potentially coming, so.
Plague wind does come down. Okay. Luckily, they didn't target any of that back yet. So that's good. But that was a really nice Mars start there. Uh, we just play Gauntlet and discard our Cowards in, even though I feel like we need it. But we just got to move some cards, I think. Maybe if we can get to an Impense Seed, we can actually uh, reshuffle our deck. Mm, they go Geistoid, that's going to be a problem. And Plow Sword comes down, that is really a problem. So do we start regrowthing here? We could regrowth the Ganger and the Time Traveler. Uh, let's do well Wormhole and the Grove Keeper and play a couple there. Okay, Persistence Hunting might be good. And we got the Drummer Knot. So now regrowthing the Ganger Chieftain actually makes sense. Okay, they go Geistoid again. Plow Sword to take out Grove Keeper. No! Okay, Flamework Shaman at the bottom. That's actually good. They take out the Grove Keeper. They reap twice. Get to check. Okay, good. Go Untamed her. Persistence Hunting for Geistoid. We'll regrowth. The Ganger will regrowth. Time Traveler will discard the key charge and enter. Lodon comes down, the Pen Seed comes down. That's pretty good. Floof comes down. Ooh, and Halicor. That's too bad. Well, I think it's time to go Brobnar here. Play Foozle out. Ganger. The Foozle and the Tribute Collector. Um, then we'll Gauntlet the Project and the Tribute Collector. We'll start our Ganger Nodding. Let's see, how many Ganger was that? One. Two, three, four, five. 
Well, they might be able to kill it here. Uh, let's see. They can Nepenthe Seed. They can Plague Win my Drum or not. That sucks. So yeah, we just got to get Foozle value here. So they can either Plague Win or Plow Sword my Drum or not. So that won't survive. So we got a little bit of burst there. Um, we could actually ZYX research our drum or not. Not sure if it's worth it. They go Geistoid. Brad the Indulgent comes down. If they capture a whole bunch on there, that would be pretty annoying. Ooh, Boiler comes down. That's pretty bad for me. Plow Sword. We'll take out the drum or not and put something back at the bottom. No Riching Grove Keeper and take out Drummer Knot. Yep. What else do they have in Geistoid? Hopefully not much, because they just went Geistoid. Uh, no, actually I was wrong. They went Untamed. I don't know what I'm talking about. Alright, so we do get a key. Fuzzle said, if an enemy creature has been destroyed this turn, gain one. Okay. One, two, I think I can only gain three ember. Actually, if I take out the boiler. Okay, yeah, yeah, yeah. Here we go. So we're going to lob a ball the Varad so we can reap with Fuzzle for Chew. Ganger will take out the boiler. It'll take out both of these, which is fine. Actually, yeah, we'll put the Bilgum Avalanche. Do we want the Bilgum gone or the Ganger gone? I think we actually want the Ganger gone here, which is kind of funny. Fight here. Get double Fuzzle action, and we'll get Bilgum out there too. Yeah, I kind of like that. We get to check. Um, they definitely could get us off if they use like Nepenthe Seed or anything. But, you know, maybe it's a mistake to get rid of my project. Because I could have done ZYX shenanigans with it potentially. They go Mars. They do use a Nepenthe Seed. So here comes a Don't Believe Your Eyes, right? Yep. Ouch. I don't think we have a way to kill my guys, though. Dr. ZYX, or Dr. X comes out. Dr. Xyloxifrex. So they capture one there, they capture two of my own ember on Bilgum Avalanche. What else do they have for Mars here? 
do they have some targets? So they do have targets. So then they get to archive it again. Ugh. Okay, so how do we want to play this? I think we gotta kill them both. Because they can just keep cycling it more or less. I think it's actually that important. The cycling of the don't believe your eyes is, it can be painful. And they can still get it off again here, but it is what it is. They go untamed. They still have a haunting witch action. They reclaim my gauntlet. Yep. That's too bad. Purge my artifact. They discard Haunting Witch to get low down value, to get check at six. And they look what I found. Oh no, that's not good. What are they gonna bring back with a look what I found? They know I have no way at all to get them off a check, because the only way that I could do that is either Grok, actually only Grok, and then I have Cutthroat, but it only matters if they go up to 8. Um, let's see, Key Charge is in my discard, so we're up on behind here. They brought back Plague Wind, Nepenthes, and Target. Oh uh, yeah, this is bad. Okay, so we'll go Logos here. Guess we'll library first, which we got nature's call. Memory chip. Uh, what do we, do we want to like ZYX? No, we want a ZYX, I guess just a top. Let's play out time traveler here. We only got untamed. Uh, and then we'll ZYX our deck because we didn't get what we wanted. And we got more untamed. Okay, now if they Plague Wind, they wipe my whole board. First again, don't believe your eyes. Ooh, rough. This is so rough. So yeah, they have Plague Wind, Nepenthe, Target, so that they can, they can Don't Believe Your Eyes, capture two of my own on my creature, then they can Plague Wind, wipe my whole board, and more or less steal two again. And hopefully they don't have any more Mars in that. There's a Don't Believe Your Eyes, there's a Plague Win. Oh yeah, then the target to uh, archive the Don't Believe Your Eyes again. Probably. Yep, okay. Then we got Untamed. So, the Pent Seed. Nox. Helga, Darna, Nature's Call, 
I guess on uh, Brash Grabber and then Duskwitch. But pretty much all they do, all they gotta do is get to check, which they can easily do, and then it's game over. Because all I have to do is reap and use feeding pit, and they're at check. There's a don't believe your eyes. To put it on the dusk witch, because they have the brash grabber, of course. Actually, yeah, it would have been smarter over there for me to push back the target. I still don't think it would matter because I can't forge two keys in one turn. So I don't think it really matters. I mean, I can forge a second key here. That's all I can do. Uh, I could sound the horns. I could nepent seed. I can get them off of one with the ganger. Yeah, that's all I can do though. So. I guess we'll just get that extra key. Good game, well played. Um, they did a good job of disrupting what I had. Um, yeah, I'd be interested to get a, a take. I'll have to uh, talk to uh, Vilky later to, to see if they think I played anything off. I bet there was definitely some turns where I could have... I probably should have gone Logos at one turn when I went Robnar. I probably just wasn't trying to move through uh, the deck fast enough. Okay, cool. Well, that was a fun and exciting match. Um, let's see. I did want to open a Grim Reminders deck, but actually it's Easter Sunday. I gotta go do stuff. Sorry, y'all. Uh, so with that, thanks all for watching. Uh, I'll catch you next time. Let me pull out some music and have a good day, night, wherever you're at. And it is always more responsible. See you later.